Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to get inset session in HP.NET Core. So let's start with our video. So now from the solution explorer, you need to open the controller class and here I'll be adding a namespace. Microsoft.HPNetCore.HTTP now let's move to the index action result method. Here I'll show you how to set a session variable in ASP.NET Core. So I'm making use of HTTP context dot session dot set string. Here there are two parameters. The first one is the name of the session variable and the second one is the string value. In one of my previous videos, I have already explained how to enable session in ASP.NET Core. You can check out using the link available on the right hand side. That's it. We are done. The session has been set. Now let's move to the view. Now inside the view, I am inheriting the tag helper classes. The next thing I am doing is adding a form. The method attribute I am setting to post. Then I am setting the ASP controller attribute to home and lastly the ASP action attribute to index. I will be adding another index action result method for handling this particular post call. Now here I have added a label session. Then I am adding a text box. Basically the idea is to fetch the value of the session and display it using an alert message box. So this particular text box will accept the name of the session variable and when the button is pressed the session value will be fetched from the controller and it will be displayed using javascript alert message box as you can see i have set the name attribute for the text box this particular attribute will be used inside the controller to fetch the value of this particular text box now i'm adding a submit button Now again we'll go back to the controller where I'll be adding the action result method to handle the post call. Now here I am adding another action result method with the name index. The difference will be that this particular action method will be accepting a parameter session name and this particular session name will be nothing but the value of the text box. You need to make sure that the name attribute of the text box and the name of the variable is exact same otherwise the parameter value will be null now i'm creating a view data object and inside the view data object i am setting the value of the session in order to access the session i am making use of get string method to which i'll be passing the name of the session variable the name of the session variable will be nothing but the value of the text box which will be sent to the controller when the button is pressed Finally, I am decorating the method with HTTP POST attribute as this particular method will be handling the POST call. Now for the last time, again we will move to the view. Now here we need to display the value of the view data. For that, I will be writing some JavaScript. So first I am adding a condition to check whether view data has value. Then only this particular JavaScript will render and get executed. Next thing I am adding script tags. Now inside the script tag, I will be making use of window.onload event handler. This particular event handler is executed when the page is loaded in browser. Now inside the event handler, I am making use of alert function and using razor syntax, I will be assigning the value of the view data to the alert function. So that's it. We are done with the programming part. Now we can run the code and see it in action. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample link are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, please feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon.
So here in the text box, I am writing the name of the session variable that is person and now I will click on the button. As you can see the value of the session which is my name is being displayed correctly. So with this we come to the end of this video. Today we learnt how to get and set session value in ASP.NET Core. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.